Hello everyone, Norma Woodcock speaking to you from Perth in Western Australia and I'd like to speak into the Ascension of the Lord Year B and the theme, He is Lord of All. Father Floor McCarthy in his book New Sunday and Holy Day Liturgies Year B, page 136 says this, The theological meaning of the Feast of the Ascension of the Lord is that God has glorified Jesus, raising him above all earthly powers and making him head of the church and the Lord of creation. I'd like to just go straight into a very deep and personal story of mine to illustrate this amazing Lordship of Jesus. When I was a very little girl and those of you who have been following my video clips know that I was abused quite horrendously. And there was a particularly horrendous, nasty situation where I choked on some vomit and a little tiny girl, I felt myself going through like vibrations of water. And then I came to this place of intense stillness and peace and beauty. My grandfather, who had died the year before, and I had been very close to him, he wasn't in his body and nor was I, but he was there and I just went up and I had a hug with him. And then Jesus walked into the scene. He was peaceful and he was powerful. I remember seeing jewels on his hands and I had a hug with Jesus. He said to me, one day, Norma, you will make a lot of people well again for me. And then he called an angel and the next thing they were reviving me and I was revived. I sometimes wonder why God spared me the horrendous things that I went through, he still kept me alive and he brought me to this place. And I believe it's because I have a story to tell. And I hope that my story helps you. I hope my story gives you encouragement to know that you are on the right path following this amazing Jesus. He has made my life something beautiful from what was very ugly and very horrendous. And so I want to say to you today, Bow before him. He is king of the universe. He is the one who holds all things in power. Through him all things were made. And he is the one who's going to see you home. So I hope my story has touched your hearts and given you a deeper sense of faith and a deeper sense of hope and a deeper sense of connection to this amazing God that you serve and that you love. Come deeper into him and let him reveal his love to you more and more. May God bless you this week, and thank you for listening. I look forward to meeting you again next week.